That is the right answer. Okay. All right. Okay. You have uh, three lifelines left, and you have hundred points. And this is uh, a question about history. Total number of members in all categories. You know, there are full members, associate members, observers, etc. So, total number of members in all categories of Islamic Financial Services Board (IFSB) at the end of 2019 was 78, 184, 112, or 188. What is your answer, Muhammad Munirul Haq? It is also a difficult question. <laughs> it's a difficult question. Look, if it's a difficult question, you can go for flip the question. If you think that your friend knows the answer, you can ask uh, Ms. Bahuddin Ahmed, or you can go for audience poll. Maybe audience will know. Uh, okay, I want to go. Um... my call uh, call a friend okay admin can you bring ms ms bahuddin ahmed on the screen please assalam alaikum prof wa alaikum assalam how are you alhamdulillah prof your friend muhammad munirul haq is in trouble <laughs> we have asked him total number of members of islamic financial services board at the end of 2019 was 188 78 184 or 112 he doesn't know and he thinks that you might know um as of uh december 2020 i think the number is 188 20 i know okay. <laughs> but the I trick is it's about that. december <laughs> So there's a trick. Um, I'll, I'll guess. Uh, I mean, uh, I hope in 2020 IFSB made some new members. Yeah. So if that is the case, yeah. Yeah. if so you I'll know just... 2020, then you should not like 2019 as well, right? Yeah. So which so one? I think. I think I'll go for the 184. Uh, okay. Although in 2020 it's 188. All right. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, Ms. Bahuddin. Now, Ahmed Munirul Haq, your friend is saying it's 184. Do you want to go for it? Okay. Let's see. Okay, if uh, Ms. Bahuddin Ahmed is your true friend, he is a good friend. Yes, this was the right answer. Thank you. Now, with this one, Muhammad, uh, Ms. Bahuddin has actually brought you ease as well. Mashallah, he is a good friend because the next answer is. i know that you know the answer if the holy quran sunna and ijma are the three pillars of islamic jurisprudence the fourth is the common practice al urf qiyas analogy grand mufti's opinions the practices of companions of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam so what is your answer if al kitab wa sunna wal ijma these are three pillars of islamic jurisprudence wal qiyas is four which one the four is qiyas so you think it's al qiyas yes should i lock it okay lock because you are certain this is qiyas right okay you have got 400 points of 500 points now and you have two lifelines left uh, audience poll and flip the question total number of islamic banks in qatar is 6 8 5 or 7 what do you think i don't know this answer sir <laughs> then if you don't know you can go for flip the question Yes, sir. If if you had picked up the question uh, uh, answer, which one would have been your answer? Mm. 
I don't know. But so we should flip the question, right? Yes. I Let's should. flip the question and see. All right. Okay. This is a question which you should know because this is about Sharia. Under an istisna contract, the price may be determined at the end of the construction period. Under an istisna contract, the buyer and seller are the joint owners of the asset until it is fully developed. Uh, or the buyer becomes owner of the asset only when the asset is fully delivered. And the last one, the buyer must assume all the risks associated with the construction of the asset. This is a purely Sharia question in istisna. The price may be determined at the end of the construction period. The buyer and seller are the joint owners of the asset until it is fully developed. The buyer becomes owner of the asset only when the asset is fully delivered. The buyer must assume all the risks associated with the construction of the asset. What is your answer? Uh, my answer, uh, C, option C, the buyer becomes owner of the asset only when the asset is fully delivered. So should I go for it? Okay, sir. Should I click on the green button? <laughs> yes, sir. All right. That is the right answer. <clears throat> Excellent. Okay, now you have got 1,000 points and you have... Uh, we, uh, you have one lifeline there, okay? And okay, this sir. is a mathematical question. <laughs> R plus one divided by R, whole multiplied with R equals one, R, R plus one, or R divided by R plus one. Someone who has interest in maths, this is very easy. I'm not a student of math. Uh, and if you are not sure, I think you have got very good lifeline available okay. to audience pool. Okay. Audience pool. Okay, sir. Audience pool. Want to go I for audience pool? Yes, right, sir. Let's go for audience pool. Now, audience, if you choose A, that would mean R plus 1. If you choose R divided by R plus 1, that would be B. If you choose C, that would mean R. If you choose D, that would be 1. So let us, uh, let me uh, start the poll. Right. The poll is there. Can you please vote to help your brother? So there are Okay, I'm ending the poll here now. And I'm sharing the results. All of the, those who voted, they said it's A, R plus one. So all of them, they said this is R plus one, A. You want to go for yes. it? Okay, yes. Okay, so the it. majority, democracy works. That's absolutely right. So now you have got 3,000 points. And if you answer this question correctly, which is again a Sharia question, you would go to the golden opportunity stage. And if you answer that question correctly, you would win the game. Now, but before that, you have to answer this question correctly. If the profit sharing ratio in a musharaka arrangement is 50-50, the partners will bear a loss in accordance with their investment shares or after a loan by a third party has been utilized to make the loss good or unequal or equal, what would be your answer? This is Sharia question. Mm. 
yes uh, answer a and d is same J, uh, 50 50 in case of 50 50 no there is no 50 50 so, left now so you are saying uh, it's either a or d or profit right? share okay uh, yes oh yeah uh, loss should be bear on the investment equity so i choose uh, one uh, a option a <clears throat> over a right yes yes I, should i lock it okay that is the right answer now you have got 6000 points congratulations you have gone to the next stage which is the golden opportunity stage because you do not have any lifeline left I would recommend you to go for the golden opportunity to try your luck. Would you go for the golden opportunity or you want to continue with the game? Uh, I want to uh, uh, get a golden opportunity. You want to go for golden opportunities, very wise. Yes. All right. Yes. This is the golden opportunity question, which as I have been telling is slightly more difficult than the other questions. Which one of the following is not a founding member of AOFU? Al-Bukhari Foundation, Dalla Al-Baraka Group, the OIC FIP Academy, Islamic Development Bank. You cannot ask anyone, you cannot seek any help, all the four Lifelines are gone. And even if these lifelines were gone in the golden opportunity, you have to answer this question by yourself honest. Now, what is your answer? Is it Al-Bukhari Foundation? Is it Dalla Al-Baraka Group? Is it the OIC FIC Academy? Or is it Islamic Development Bank? Uh, sir, is, is it uh, Al-Bukhari Foundation is not a founding member of AOFI? So you want to go for Al-Bukhari Foundation? Yes, sir. I want to choose Bukhari Foundation. Why do you think it's Al-Bukhari Foundation? Uh, firstly, I uh, do not know about this foundation. Right. Uh, <laughs> And uh, I I read the history of Taufi, right? And and um, other three is familiar to me. Okay. So uh, I choose this. So you don't want to change your mind. You don't think it's Dalla Al Baraka Group. You don't think it's the OIC Fifth Academy. You don't think it's Islamic Development Bank. Yes, sir. So you, if the question is which one of the following is not a founding, founding member of the OIC? Yes, sir. So you saying Al-Bukhari Foundation was not the founding member of the Yes, sir. Should I lock it? Okay, sir, lock. Uh, because I don't know. Okay, I'm asking you, uh, you are sure it's not Dalla Al-Baraka Group, it's not the OIC FIC Academy, it's not the Islamic Development Bank. You said you don't, you don't know Al-Bukhari Foundation and a lot of people would not have heard of Al-Bukhari Foundation. Mm. I'm not asking you, I'm not pressurizing you to change your mind. I'm just asking you, should I lock it or not? Uh, if... Uh... Okay, maybe it is uh, YC FIC Academy. Oh. Uh, it's entirely up to you. It's Dalal Baraka Group, it's Islamic Development Bank, it's the OIC FIC Academy, it's Al Bukhari Foundation. It could be Al Bukhari Foundation. Okay. Okay, sir. Uh, Al Bukhari Foundation. Al Bukhari Foundation. This is your final answer. Okay, sir. Final answer. Okay, I'm going for Al Bukhari Foundation. Computer, can you please lock this? Unfortunately, this is the wrong answer. Oh, oh. It was the OIC Fit Academy. You were so close. Okay, you you played so well. Okay. 
you were just close you know this was the last ball and you were required to take just one run and you got run out <laughs> very unfortunate i am i am not happy you should have won this one because you were so close uh ladies and gentlemen we did not have a winner tonight however you would agree with me that this was a wonderful episode of cambridge islamic banking master we had five contestants out of which we had time for only four contestants our fifth contestant inshallah we would bring him on board for the next episode of cambridge islamic banking master which would be held in march inshallah till then i am your host humayun dar assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh